actually works and then interact. Okay, we're going to bring another sister up. Um, she is also um, someone that, um, actually we got gun sistership together, you know, Sister Carnita, she's a um, psychiatrist, she's been trained um, to heal, um, she's been in Ghana for over 10 years, um, uh, extensive background in psychology and, um, and provided counseling for 47 years. Let's give her a round of applause, Sister Carnita. Thank you so much. Memamo Ajo, I greet you all. Good evening. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, I just want to, for the networking piece, for those of you into agriculture, there's a brother here who does exceptional training in organic agriculture, uh, organic poultry farming, fish smelling, <coughs> maggot uh, raising, as well as uh, herbs and vegetables. So come see me for this master farmer training to connect and get his information, exchange ideas. Also, Lauren Lavender is a sister here who does organic summer camps for children. She teaches them in seed banking, seed housing, organic farming, organic composting. So for those of you who want her contact information, see me for Lauren Lavender's contact information. For those of you into the electronics and wiring, uh, I do have a couple of names for you. One of the names is the young brother who uh, played a prominent role in a lot of the lighting and wiring fixtures in the Oyarika Mall, who could definitely benefit for more information there. So come see me for his name as well as a few other young brothers who are here. And for the builder, there's a brother who is building a self-supportive, uh, organic, sort of like uh, uh, a community meets a uh, organic farm kind of community in a brewery. So for those of you who are into um, building uh, communities, not just one house, but uh, building communities, see me for his contact information from there. Um, I want to talk just briefly about some of the investment things that I'm doing here as well. Again, my name is Carnita Groves. I'm a psychologist. I'm a Pan-African-centered uh, holistic psychologist. I specialize in helping people rapidly and permanently recover from trauma. I also specialize in food and mood issue which has to do with what we consume, how it impacts our cognition and our, moods, our, and our mood state. So those are some areas that I specialize in. Some of the specific uh, investment activities that I take place in, we have a SUSU group that's spelled S-O-U-S-O-U. -S and our SUSU is about seven and a half years old. Every Monday we take turns loaning each other interest-free loans. So uh, from that time, uh, during that time, we loaned each other somewhere around $85,000. Um, and so it's been something that's very successful. Our SUSU pays out every Monday, and it, we collect the money every Saturday. And this is done through mobile money. So this is one of the <coughs> investment uh, activities that I'm a part of. Another one is with, uh, and Doc mentioned it earlier, uh, Doctor, sorry. Are your grandson here? Is it just your grandson? You had a good and Hey, grandson. <laughs> That's so cute. Doc, this is my first time seeing one of your grandchildren. It's exciting. Okay, sorry. I went off script. Okay. <laughs> Reformed African Mission. So I do a lot of work with the shrine here in Ghana. And uh, some of that work includes things like helping people understand how drumming affects high blood pressure, affects people's ability to heal from cancer, and different types of things like that. Very exciting stuff. But, but the investment piece with Reformed African Mission is that this is the first shrine that we know of in Ghana that is investing in treasury bills. Does anybody know the local treasury bill rate in Ghana right now? Last I checked, it was, are you sitting down, 31%. That's not a misstatement. Exactly. So for those of you who are interested in investing, I want to take a look-see at the treasury bills. 
So this shrine has been investing for years now in the treasury bills, and that's another role that I play. Lastly, um, we have a brother here for those of you who are interested in shrine work. Come see me for his contact information. If you would like information on how to do libations, how to do various other ceremonies, how to use herbs for healing and for protection on a spiritual or vibrational level, come see me for his contact information. I have that. So that is the infomercial. I'll say briefly, uh, one, how am I doing on my time? Okay. You're good. You're doing well. Okay. Keep it flowing. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as a professor, a former professor, you know, we're very time conscious. Okay. So one of the things that I want to say to you all in terms of either visiting the continent or repatriating back here to the continent, it's difficult to know what you need to shed and what you need to heal from until you put enough distance between you and the thing. But sometimes, even then, it's not enough. Sometimes you need somebody else to point something out. And if you have all types of emotional and attitudinal firewalls up, people won't be able to get through to you, and they won't be able to reach you, and they won't be able to tell you what's broken and so that you can know how to fix it because you're throwing out all manner of friendly fire. And so this is where people such as myself in the mental health professions come in. Now, I can only speak for myself in terms of being a Pan-African holistic psychologist, psychologist, which means I work with people on a holistic level. So while I do do couples and individual uh, counseling, I also do counseling in some alternative modalities as well. In fact, on a lot of radio stations in Ghana, I'm also known as a sexologist. Did you know that? So anyhow, <laughs> so but all of these things you see are part and parcel of our being well and our coming to the continent and connecting. So do yourself a favor. When you come here, see somebody, if not me, see somebody who can help you get rid of the baggage that you don't know that you have. We see it, you don't see it. <laughs> So I'm telling you for your own peace of mind and your own healing and your own well-being. That is that. So with that, welcome again. Thank you so very much. Peace and blessings to you all. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. Appreciate you very much, brothers and sisters.